Today I want to talk about using prompts for report writing when you need to get a certain date range or a certain record range out of the system for a report you may be writing. Um, as you'll see on my screen, I'm currently in the report manager and I have a status report by customer report selected. Uh, in order to utilize prompts for the data that we're going to report against, uh, you can use an existing report, simply edit its properties. Uh, and this is going to be based on the search group that you're using. In this case, we're selecting a product and date range. In the search itself, you'll see there is a parent type name or parent name for uh, this timekeeper record. Uh, and there is a prompt to select the project. And of course, we're using a, very, uh, a validated value, uh, ensuring that the user only chooses values from that list. Uh, similarly, for date prompts, using a date time prompt here, uh, in this case we're not giving it any default value, so it would just come up as blank. Um, same with our end date. So, uh, once that's actually done, once you've actually added the prompts that you want, uh, you can simply run the status report. And it's going to ask you what project you want to do it against. starting date range I'm going to go ahead and push this back because I think this is a fairly old one I'm just starting January 2010 and then our ending date range we'll just make it today and then my report will go ahead and just build out utilizing that uh, in this case uh, this is a blank report not a lot of information here However, this would be a way of actually building out a quick status report based on a date range and a client name. Um, prompts are very useful in searches. Uh, they don't just fall into the reporting, uh, the report writer portion of Sherwell. Um, however, in order, to, uh, in order to use dynamic dates uh, and filters for your reporting, you do need to use prompts when creating the search uh, results list uh, at the beginning. Uh, if you want more static or maybe perhaps even dynamic type um, filtering, say by date. You could say, uh, I want my range to be, my date range to be uh, an expression rather than a prompt. Maybe that expression should be, um, you know, this year, or maybe it needs to be some sort of special, uh, a special expression that you have. You're going to say, you know, in the last week or in the last six months or something along those lines. So then you can build out a, a custom expression in order to go ahead and get those dates entered in there. I want to say the last six months, so I would simply create a date time expression. Date time math, so I want to see anything in the last six months. So we're going to start with our system function, current date time. And we're going to say minus six months. And that'll start at six months ago. Oh, sorry. Help if I actually put in a title six months ago. And maybe my other one is just today. In this case, we just find current date time for that. Now, that'll always be dynamic, being is that it'll be from six months ago to now. Uh, rather than giving it actual hard dates in order to do that. So, as you can see, you can either prompt for a date range or you can simply enter in a date range based on expression. You also, of course, have the ability to add in specific dates that you want to run a report for going forward. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. I'll continue my series on Report Writer and how to manipulate and design quality reports for your system in future videos.
be sure to visit our website at www.beyond20.com if you have questions or need more information. Follow us on Twitter at Beyond20 and follow us on YouTube at Beyond20LLC. Thank you. Thank you.